Okay, good evening. I'd like to call to order the Zoning Board of Appeals this evening, um, May 3rd. Uh, first order of business would be to accept the minutes from the last meeting. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Okay, so we'll um, agree to accept the minutes from our last meeting. So Mr. Colleen's here tonight. He's um, wants to talk about a letter that he received, correct, from the building inspector. Um, and the, the law or the rule is that you need, you have 30 days to appeal any such letter, which was last November. Uh, the building inspector agreed to, to listen to what you have to say. Um, and, and then the other thing is, there's only four of us here this evening, so I just want you to understand it has to be a unanimous decision in your favor. Uh, and if you don't want to take that chance, we can reschedule. Thank you. Um, do you want to proceed? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Would you like me to? Yeah, if you'd like to say what you have to say, we'll listen. Am I supposed to read the letter, or do you guys know what it we, says? We have a copy of the letter. Um, I believe we've all read it. So, okay. So um, if you have comments to make about it. I do. Okay. So the building department has stopped me from grading my property, which I've been doing for a few years after I bought it till the letter. I have no erosion problems on my property. After receiving this letter, I on numerous occasions invited the building department to visit my property and please show me the erosion. All requests for visits and clarification were unanswered by the building department. I ask your board to please come to my property and show me erosion. As far as the violation of bylaws, 3710 is a disturbance bylaw. Please show me any evidence of excessive sound, noise vibration, odor, or flashing as stated in this bylaw that is going on on my property. On bylaw 3721, I am not doing any grading which will result in a final slope of 15% or greater on 50% or more of my lot area or on 30,000 square feet or more. So I do not need a special permit. 3722, I am not creating any slopes exceeding 15%. 3723, I am not stripping two acres or more of existing vegetation. Again, please come and show me where the building department sees these violations. Is there any way I can be refunded all of the money the building department has ordered me to waste? Thank you for your time. Uh, at this time, anybody um, want to comment? Any neighbors, abutters? I couldn't hear. You couldn't hear? I couldn't hear. That's why I was signaling. Oh. Do you want me to read it again? Did you read it? I did. Could I read what you wrote? Absolutely. Maybe someone will speak in the intro. Ventilator. Air conditioning. That air conditioning is louder than this. Blurring out oh, all the sound. Oh, okay. okay. It's loud up here. It's like you're in a courtroom and it. Yeah. Do you have other copies? What's that? Other copies? Uh, I might have one or two, but, uh, but I just don't understand how any of those bylaws can apply to my property. I don't even own two acres to strip, and it's flat. There's yeah. no 50. Yeah. Well, while, while the neighbors are reading, yep. um, I'll ask Kyle to <coughs> speak. So there's been some issues with water. Um, over in the, on that property. Um, you gentlemen have a picture of where uh, Mr. Colleen had a ways back granted claimed that Mass DOT was flooding out his property. <clears throat> There's quite an extensive file on that. 
And then, um, you know, there has been diversion of water to neighbors. There's a pipe at the end of his driveway. If you're facing uh, from the side street on the right-hand side, um, which I don't know whether it goes to a curtain drain or what have you, but the theory is I would think it probably overwhelms the culvert at times. Um, you're not allowed to divert storm water to a public way mm -hmm. or to property of another. And um, the piece of equipment desired was a screener. A screener, if any of you are familiar with it, makes a tremendous amount of noise, highly unusual piece of equipment on a single family residential lot. So that's the justification. I had recommend going to a civil engineer over and over again. I am not a consultant on stormwater, and that's something I recommend to a lot of people. Not an unusual case, and I don't even believe it would be a high dollar amount. Mm -hmm. So it's not a great cost. Have a professional come in, look at it, solve the issue. We, we're not consultants being a building inspector. People mm -hmm. come to us with a plan and we either okay it or pass it along the chain. Yeah. <clears throat> As you can see, he went to the Conservation Commission. They also recommended a civil engineer. Mm -hmm. so. They did not. I have the paperwork. I believe you all have a letter mm -hmm. from the Conservation, from conservation. They told me that I wasn't even in their jurisdiction and DEP also and they wondered why I was even there. DEP has actually instructed me to tell the select board to muzzle their dog. So as far as the water he is speaking of, he has a signed affidavit that uh, went in front of court for all of this that he claims is a case. This is written by Mr. Kalshev. Kathy, do you have the conservation by Scarborough yeah. and then stamped yeah. by Barbara Hancock. If you guys want to read that, mm -hmm. the water issue and the Gully that they are claiming is at the end of my drive. Yeah. It is there. Would you like us to see a copy from the Conservation yes, Commission? Yes, Okay, Thank you. all right. Um, and that's from Kevin. The water is not coming from my property. It's coming from state property. It's been, that's what blows my mind. The gentleman who sits next to him all day long was part of writing that letter, and he claims that this is all a made-up myth. <clears throat> and I'm going to argue with that. You can but, look at the damage but, that's there. Can I finish? Oh, sorry. Come on up, please. One of the issues, and it's happened before, it, James Olszewski, 2 Hager Crossroad, is the water coming off Mike's property took gravel, miscellaneous stuff, went to that storm drain, clogged it up, it overflowed, went to my parents' driveway into their garage. Highly unacceptable. I've talked to Mike and says, you know, we gotta do something. Next thing I know, he's got a plank across it with a rod so we can rod it out once in a while. There's erosion on his driveway and I mowed Mike's lawn and helped him out for the first three years, his front yard. Helen Melnick, that owned that house before that, I helped her, mowed lawn for her, did everything. Never a water issue until he started excavating for the garage. I've talked to Kevin Scarborough about it. He says, well, when there's a rain. I says, I've lived here all my life. I know what's going on. And that storm drain is getting clogged up because of debris, loose gravel, sediment, and everything from Mike's property. Kevin says, well, we got a place for the water to grain off. We got trap rock and everything. Well, what happens to trap rock when silt fills it up? It becomes nothing again. So nothing has been done to fix the remedy. I said, Mike, why don't you go and put some pavers down and kind of clean this up a little bit so we have less crap coming down. I'm going to put a garage, a roof on my garage before I fix the thing. And that's what pissed me off was his attitude about, he didn't give a shit, hmm. excuse my language, about the storm drain. Kevin Scarborough doesn't seem to give a shit about the storm drain. And 
I'm sorry, but the good old boys has to stop. Thank you. And the driveway does exceed what is allowed in the bylaws. The bylaws state that you're not half supposed to have a driveway that exceeds 8% grade. The driveway to the side on the side road is far exceeds that. Okay. Can I pin up a map for you guys to see? So the driveway had a permit through the highway garage and they're happy and Kevin Scarborough is currently happy. That's why I'm confused why the building department is so upset. So this is my town line right here. This is owned by the town, over here is owned by the state. Kevin Scarborough has witnessed and written the affidavit and when I've met with other people, we have, I'm really confused why the building department is continuing to harass me when it's not even his job. It's the highway department and it's not even my property. We could, the, Damage comes in from here, 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 and runs all the way down and goes in. And it's been, it's been viewed by me and the highway department. And I've asked this what is the me. date of the affidavit from Kevin Scarborough? 2014. 2014. Yeah. And as far as the it's water no problems, problems, it has nothing to do with my garage. Right here would be the only place water would come to be down a small section of driveway from the upper garage, it could never accumulate on a patch this big. A few times a year, the water comes over the curb. It's going to see like Kevin Scarborough and Mr. Kalshevsky. It comes over the curb here and just beats the crap out of the town property. I've asked this man on a dozen occasions. He's going to let it from It is not my position to recommend to you I did not order you, sir. I, I, think, I think the letter is suggesting that you get an engineer. You told me I couldn't work until I did. I have, I have that whole binder is interactions yeah. back and yeah. forth. So I just don't understand. How and uh, it is my job to uh, uphold the bylaws of the town I'm working on. But how can a bylaw that says if you are stripping two acres apply to me if I don't even own two acres? I passed in a print to you showing you the slope, which is less than 1%. Do you guys have a copy of the print of the grading? Do I have a what? A copy of the grading plan that I passed in to him? No, I do not. Would you like to see that? Sure. Sure. You wanted to make a comment? Yeah, I've watched this on. I, I'm Stephen Biscuitch. I live in the neighborhood. Mike, uh, Steve, you want to stand up to the mic? Thanks. With the air conditioning running, yeah. everybody's having trouble All right. hearing it. I'm Stephen Pistrich. I live in the neighborhood a couple houses away. I've watched Mike's house when it was for sale before he bought it. I've watched every step of his operation there. Um, the When it was owned by the Melnicks, there was, it was fairly forested and stable. Mike bulldozed it all out, cleared out all the trees, and uh, created a obvious erosion problem into this town drainage, uh, we'll call it swale to culvert, where I watched it repeatedly fill up with silt and sediment from his unpaved driveway. There's actually a, kind of a small ravine eroded into it that you can see as it leads into the town culvert. He used to have a, like a shovel there just because he had to shovel it out so often. Um, to me, it's all ridiculous for him to say there's no erosion problem. It's so damn obvious, and it repeatedly happens. And um, to me, it just seems like his whole arrangement there just shows really poor planning, mm. poor execution, and denial of the problems that are currently going on. And I just would like to see it straightened out, because it seems that um, it's just ongoing. and. Um, it seems like he's tried a couple things, but I don't think he really knows what he's doing. Hmm. Thank you. Could we, could we do a site visit? Could we just take a look at the, the erosion? It's, the it's not on my property. It's not coming from my property. And I'm getting, I mean, the man has called me my yard a junkyard. He has ordered me to go in front of uh, the Conservation Commission. I'm nowhere near a wetland. I think the issue at hand 
is uh, the appeal of the letter written and the issue mm -hmm. at hand is apparently objecting to have a civil engineer mm -hmm. uh, evaluate the situation. That is yeah. what the appeal is for. There's right. no rule that says I have to. So. Right. Okay. Well, if you're causing er erosion, can no, we, maybe can maybe see, maybe please, you don't sir? think you're in a wetlands. Is that water running? Where does that water run to? That brook runs into uh, town stormwater, I which have runs a into where? From DEP, if you'd like to see it. So, in other words, it, this siltation is running into the wetlands. Is that what you're saying? Is that is that what's happening? Could we please do a site visit? No, I'm asking the question, please. Sorry. Let me finish. Yep. Is it running into the wetlands? <coughs> Conservation Commission seem to think that wet, the wetlands weren't the issue. Okay. They recommended in the letter that you're provided with that an engineer, civil engineer, be consulted because mm -hmm. they're aware of the pipe at the end of the driveway. They're aware of the over, the culvert becomes overwhelmed, causing water to then flow downhill, you know, to the neighbor's property. So being that there's been so many uh, numerous issues and that's the best recommendation I have. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not in the business of going to a property and telling somebody how to run a pipe here, there, or other where, or shoot grades on a property. I heard conflicting so, report, uh, report here because someone said the culvert was being plugged with silt. Is that correct? Silt, debris, rock, okay, leaves. Okay, so it's silt from his property into the storm drain, right? It's not from my property. So something, something's plugging something up there, correct? Going into a storm drain, which is going into a brook. My understanding of the law, the conservation law, is that that affects the wetlands. It wasn't proper barrier. It wasn't a barrier silt fence to keep the mud from going in there or silt or whatever. And there it is. might not, wherever the green pipe emanating from his property comes from, and perhaps That's Mr. Right. Sadowski didn't have filter fabric for it put over the top. I don't have X-ray vision. None of us do. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was installed correctly. You could, you could this many years later still be pick, picking up sediment and silt from curtain drains. Mm -hmm. That's very, very likely and very possible. So I can bring in the prints for the drains. I did hire an engineer. That so. green pipe that comes out is just my downspouts. Yeah. But technically, you can't do that because it I have, I have written permission. Should I from finish? The Town Highway does not have the authority to violate state law. Um, I really don't know if it violates state law or anything, but it does, uh, Town of Deerfield does work with the Connecticut Conserv Conservation Committee, Connecticut Deerfield, now I think it's called a conservatory, and they have their office on Bank Row and all water coming off of roof drains and everything is supposed to be filtered through earth before it goes into waterways and everything. And if he put uh, all his roof drains and everything going into, the, into this drain, which is going directly into the Sugarloaf Brook, which is directly into the Connecticut River, it's really not abiding by that. All I know is before he did excavation for the garage, it was grassy. The town used to come over and inspect that culvert once a year. Every two or three years, they used to muck it out. One year, I think they had to go clean it out three or four times. And there's not silt, rock, and everything coming off of 116 or Sugarloaf Street into that culvert. It has to come from his property. There's no other place for it. And it does come off of his property, and you can go up there and you can see erosion and corrosion, erosion and stuff. And if you go up there in a rainstorm, you can watch it. I don't know what the problem is. It's not working out. Do we have the year the garage excavation started? It's been, um, it's the foundation started in 2012, the permit. We'd all have to get together when it's raining to go over there. You can see the erosion that's already yeah. there, though. And I mean, the, 
I feel as if we're beating a dead horse. Mr. Kalashevsky and Mr. Uh, Scarborough have seen it in a heavy rainstorm and have seen what is happening. Yeah. Well, to Deerfield, the and conservation. Then it was sent to the select men, and then it was The Conservation sent. Commission and the building inspector have both made come to the same conclusion that the easiest way to resolve this problem would be to have an engineer help you. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me let a, a, an engineer help you. He'd have your best interests in mind, and that would satisfy everybody. It would make your. It, let me finish. Your your neighbors would be happy, and the, the boards in Deerfield would be satisfied if a engineer helped you out. And I think that would be the easiest way to come to a conclusion without all the paperwork and everything else. But that has nothing to do, I don't know if this is going to make sense, I came here to appeal the fact that he said I need an engineer mm -hmm. because I was violating bylaws that I am not. And you've come past your 30 days. But then why didn't you tell me that before you I took my money? I just told you that before we started the meeting that the building inspector agreed to listen I'm, and I'm willing to overlook that. Yeah. Let's forget about it. Yep. He just said he's here to appeal my decision right. that an engineer is needed. Yeah. Let's please, base it on that. Please cite what rule says I have to hire an engineer and if you could please just come for a site visit. It's no. within my purview to is order an engineer on mm -hmm. any project. Can you, can you show me which bylaw? But do you agree that a civil engineer would be able to clear this all up? To, to clear up the problem? A civil engineer drew that print. Sir, I'm a construction worker, not a civil engineer. There's no I well, have a friend who's doing the work. And there's no stamp on it. Yeah. But obvious, no, there's no stamp. What's that? There's no stamp on that. No, I think you're fascinated. There's no benchmarks on it. There's no elevations. If you look at that plan, there's no rear uh, elevation on that. There's elevations and benchmarks on it. So. <clears throat> like to make another comment? Oh, many, but I'm controlling myself. Thank you. I would like to find out the original permit and how it was read for putting the driveway cut there because I believe that there was some caveats in there on how to grade and do everything to keep stuff from going into that drain. And as far as I'm concerned, it's Kevin Scarborough's responsibility because his predecessor gave him the permit and he's responsible for everything after that. Yeah. And I've gone to him and written a letter and talked to him and yesterday I saw him talking to Mike, chuckling away like, what are you, in cahoots with each other, or what? I don't know, it's a bad message sent out that. Well, it sounds like there's a lot to this, and like, the, um, like Kyle pointed out, we're here to decide whether to overrule his suggestion to hire a civil engineer or not. Right. You know, everything else is, we could sit here but all night and talk know, about everything but and I all understand. the problems. But so. if the original permit's not being followed either, mm -hmm. there's room right there yeah so yeah. i mean there's there's room to ad address other issues mm -hmm. later on, yeah but that's right. what we're dealing with tonight okay. so well, i guess unless somebody has anything else important to say we can talk amongst ourselves and try to come to a decision on what to do here okay oh sure robert olszewski i'm the part owner of the red house right next door and in the butter of the butter, I own the house next to that. And I've been hearing all this, and mistakes were made on both parts. But it seems like Mike's the one's taking the brunt 
from the mistakes. The town was culpable in a lot of the south stuff, but they're trying to push it all on somebody, pointing the fingers. And they made mistakes and they're not gonna own up to it. Someone has to, thanks. Thanks, Bob. I just feel as if we can blame you for a problem that the state created on town property. And it, I think it, man has like a personal vendetta for some reason. No, I don't, sir. Have you sent, have you told anyone else that house is a junkyard or they're violating? There have been plenty of unregistered vehicles in the yard at various times. Mm -hmm. yep. Plenty of cars for sale, one after another, in the yard. But that's not is. really our concern. I know, but I'm just saying that there's yeah. a lot of stuff going on there. Mm. Anyway, just back to the actual garage and driveway plan, um, just because I've sort of seen it. Um, I believe it just uh, tried to squeeze too much into too small an area, didn't really take into account the grades that were there, and has created kind of an ongoing problem that's not easily solvable because I don't think you could really have squeeze that two-story, two-level entrance garage readily into that site. It looked like it could be done, but it seems to have created a lot of trouble because I don't think it even had enough space to do it. <laughs> but um, the way it was set up, um, I know he got a foundation-only permit to start without even showing the building, which I thought was kind of unusual for the building department. But regardless, um, it just seems like it was not a well thought out plan and it's created a lot of trouble and now someone has to think it out. Mm -hmm. And maybe an engineer is the way to go to at least try to get some sense to, uh, to apply to the situation after the fact. It should have been applied before the fact. Thanks, Steve. Anybody else? No? Okay. Comments? Well, the issue I have is you're, t you're asking us to override two boards, correct? Yeah. Correct. Yep. You're, well, I got a letter here from the Conservation Commission saying that there's an issue there. Mm -hmm. Correct? Uh, uh, listen, I need to speak and not be interrupted. Okay, you'll have a chance to say something when I get done, but I'm not going to be favorable to you making comments when I'm trying to talk. You're asking us to override the Conservation Commission from Steve saying that they want an engineer. We also have one from the building inspector. So you want us to make a decision without looking at it on someone's word. Now we're getting word from you, we're getting word from him. You're asking, you're asking us to make a decision on people's word without seeing it. I, I, I agree to a site visit, but I'm going to be very uncomfortable making a decision against two boards that acted in good faith, whether I agree with them or not, on a situation. Take a look. I'd like to take a look, but I'm not willing to, to, to throw these people under the bus because people are unhappy. It's not fair to them. Could we continue with and have a site visit, please? I'm just, that's my opinion. We've mm -hmm. got three other members that have to speak. Rich, you have any comments? Or? I'm not sure if that's uh, something we would typically do. Mm -hmm. Is it? Override building inspector. Oh, uh, no. Conservation Make a site visit. But I've never. Yeah. Yeah. Been asked. Kathy? I'm just looking at the, the bylaws. Yes. Um, and I went through, and 3724 talks about how the building inspector may require the submission of all information from the building permit applicant or the landover owner, in addition to that otherwise specified herein, necessary to ensure compliance with these requirements, including if necessary elevations in the subject property, description of vegetative cover, and the nature of impoundment basins proposed, if any. So I feel like the, re the request to have the engineer come in is encompassed in this. It's something that, that he feels is required to make sure that you're abiding no. by the bylaws. You guys are the zoning board. I'd never yeah. argue with you. but. Mm -hmm. The, that bylaw is if 
uh, from my impression and from what I was told by someone else who knows the bylaws better than me, that's if you're violating the ones in the 3700 category. You don't just pull out a thin air, we want an engineer. I was told by somebody else that is smarter than me in this department mm -hmm. that if I'm not violating anything in front of it, how? I mean, there's no, I want to grade a flat piece of my yard up top and he's ordering me, I can't. It's flat. It's not 15%, it's not stripping two acres of vegetation, it's not doing any of the stuff that I'm boggled. How can you hold those rules to have me hire an engineer? And I, Mr. Sadowski, I don't ever want to argue with anyone, but I was given a piece of paper and told by the Conservation Commission that I'm not in their jurisdiction. They brought up nothing about an engineer to me. When they came and saw the site visit, they looked up top with me. We both went on our way and then we saw each other the very next day at the meeting. And I walked in and they said, you're not in our, we called DEP, you're not in our jurisdiction. And I also called DEP and they also said, why is this man harassing you? Tell the select board to muzzle their dogs. So this is the first news of me. I'd love to ask Mr. Barrett and the board again because they sent me a letter that just states you didn't even have to do any of this. You didn't have to spend that money and go in front of this board. I would, and I'm begging you. Please just come take a look at the site visit. It's, you can see it right there on the ground, and it's not on the ground that I own. Well, us doing a site visit, Mike, I don't think is going to change what the building inspector said, the conservation commission said, and all of your neighbors who've lived there longer than you have have noticed over the last few years the changes that they've noticed. But it's not. Us, oh, let, me, let me finish. Sorry, us, I like I said, us this. going over there and looking isn't, isn't going to change the facts. If, if you go over and look, you can literally see it's coming from the road. There's no erosion at all on my property. It's all on town property. All of it. Yeah. I've begged him. I have at least six emails, and he doesn't answer emails to me unless the chief of police sends it, to please come over and show me this erosion. How can you hold all of this over my head if you can't even show me the erosion? How can you hold a bylaw for a 15% grade on a plan that says 1% on a flat lot? 15% is steep. Mm. Well, like I said, there's a lot of proof okay. here that there's there's a problem. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Steve. Yeah, Mike has a large lot. Uh, the upper level is very flat. There is mm -hmm. no serious grade. He seems to be talking about that. Then he comes at the garage with a very steep driveway that uh, Kyle seems to say. Is yeah. Could I show you a picture? Kyle says let me, let me let him finish. Yeah. And we're talking about that area where suddenly there's the steep driveway so The flat land on top isn't the issue. Isn't the issue. No. That's what he won't allow me to grade. And where the garage is, the steep driveway that everyone speaks of, if you'd like to continue this, I can bring in pictures. It's the exact same shape it was before I put the garage. That driveway, I can show you pictures of the it. The driveway didn't exist. It was the same. It was the same exact shape. It was the. I can. You guys heard enough? Yeah, I feel You've like we've gone beyond what we yeah, have right, the right. power to decide this evening. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Okay. All right. Vote here to decide what we should do. Bernie, are you in favor of? No, Bernie? I'm not. Well, I'm looking at it, and, and if they're saying they need an engineer, you're asking me to override two people, yeah. two boards, and. Could I have a copy of the letter from the conservation? I gave you one. I so gave you one. So yep. Talk about yep. 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 But we can do the mics. Then. Yeah. Yep. Your opinion? Um, it's a tough one. Yeah. Um, well, you're trying to decide whether you. 
right. override the building. And yeah, I guess that's what we're going to focus on. Yeah. Yep. That's, that's exactly the only thing right. Right. Mm -hmm. is, yeah. Because we're that's all we're. Yeah. Is, is yeah. We're asked whether to override the building inspectors. Okay. Suggestion to because hire it's very complicated a. Complicated beyond that, right? That's yeah. not something we can right. decide. Right. Can you please just tell me what bylaw break in the requires have an engineer? The, we're we're still talking amongst ourselves, Mike. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. I I feel um, that we cannot grant that appeal to him no. because for two reasons i'm still a stickler for the fact it's way past the 30 days mm -hmm. i know that we decide to hear it anyway mm -hmm. um, and also because from what i understand the building inspector can require additional information mm -hmm. to make sure they're adhering by the yeah. requirements of erosion yeah. what yeah. we can decide tonight is all i'm trying to right decide. right that's what we're here for rich you're on the yeah. side yeah. okay and, and it's my opinion, Mike, that I can't override what okay. you've been asked to do. And like I said earlier, it's my opinion, and that's the easiest way to come to a, a, a you know, a, a resolution to the problem that would satisfy everybody. And, and you know, whether you agree with that or not, it, it, it doesn't matter, but we have to decide whether we're going to override two other boards. Okay. And, and I, and I think the consensus here is we all, decision. we all feel that we don't have the authority to do so. Who, okay, could I have the couple of pieces of paper I handed up there? I don't have some extra copies. Okay. I think it's this stuff here. Okay. That was that here? This one, and then there's this. Was it these? Yes. And then there's this. Is it this one? Yes. yes. So now I just can't understand how you can think and then make a motion. Yeah. I make a motion that we do not accept the motion. Yes, I agree. You second it? Second. second. Yes. Okay, it's the decision of the board to not grant the appeal. All right. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. What's the other Oshesky's name? One's Bob. Yeah. Oshesky, that's Steve Pistrich. Steve. Ah. Uh, Steve Pistrich. We're over. Is it Jim Oshesky? Yes. James Oshesky? Yes. 